welcome viewers to a new video today as promised we will be driving or I'll be driving the uh, the tracks train from Bombard Bombardier or Bombardier I, I don't know how you pronounce it and um, with some uh, e ECR M uh, cars behind it uh, we will be going over the high-speed line and I'll be teaching myself how to drive this train and you can watch along so first of all let's just start with the basic startup procedure which is already different it's just passing zero it's just ATB enter okay put our finger forward put the brakes off we're going to put in VMAX um uh, let's see do that this is a fast switch and I may pause sometimes um, depending on if I just need to see whether I need to change the kilovolts um, through the manual now let's get uh, started at uh, going to the uh, Amsterdam Central Station to pick up our passengers. Much harder than it looks. But that's why I will also not be driving with the dead man switch today. Oh, I forgot to turn on the lights. And I don't care about that to be honest so this is Amsterdam Meiderport which is a uh, T-junction station one of the, well, I think the only T-junction station in the Netherlands but I don't know that for sure let's get our speed up to 60 The train is also driving faster than 60. Oh, damn it. The A to B didn't like what we were doing. Well, this will happen a couple of times, just saying. Let's set our max to 60. Why can't we set our max to 60? Please. 
There we go. No, it doesn't go faster than 60! Excellent! Because now we can... Just don't worry about the fact the A to B might engage the brakes again. This is a tricky train, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite fun. And I don't know now how the AFB works, so... Everything will be fine. When we arrive at Skipple, I might just uh... When we arrive at Skipple, I might just quickly look in the manual. Wait, I'll do that now. Actually, quickly look in the manual. Okay, I got the hang of it. I know how to uh, when we're, when we're driving uh, after Skipple how to uh, change to uh, the uh, to the uh, en energy level of the high speed line because it's not one it's not uh, 15 kilovolt or uh, 1.5 kilovolts what we're like what we're driving on right now, it's uh, 25. <laughs> That's quite a uh, change. Well, let's just focus on putting that in zero. Might overshoot it a bit. No, we're fine. We're fine. Nice. Now we've opened the doors. Welcome to F Amsterdam Central Station, which is the far more accurate and better version of Amsterdam Central Station in Train Simulate. This map. Beautiful. We're we already have to leave. Let's put off the brake. Back to 5 bar. Let's get going.
It will become more interesting in a minute when we're past Kapal. Then it's uh, then it's going to be enjoyable because then we're zooming through the country of the Netherlands. Up our speed to 60. This is the more easy part. We're just g stopping at stations will be a little bit annoying. But like adjusting the speed while you're driving is not that difficult. Fun fact, I've actually never been in an IC direct train yet in my life. I actually should do it though. So I think I would really enjoy it. But I'm actually kind of also waiting for the IC uh, new generation to pop up. Because that's our new, uh, that's the replacement of this train and it looks really, in my opinion, I, I like it a lot. It's a nice design. And it, that's, that train can go 200 km an hour, only it obviously won't drive that fast in the Netherlands. We'll still, uh, still drive 160, but if it uh, go, uh, does go to Belgium and stuff later, uh, in a couple of years, then it will go 200 km an hour towards, uh, towards Belgium. So I'm actually really waiting for that, because then I'll just travel to Breda. Breda and then I'll take the train all the way to Amsterdam Central Station and then uh, that will be the journey of my life I would really love to do that one time but obviously since Covid is still here it's quite not, not an essential journey so uh, I, I need to wait with that a little bit going through Amsterdam slow to dike but through the top now like I showed you in the previous video we're now going through the top part of the station this, this is a very this is another junction station as you can see we're on the top Much better version of Amsterdam slow to dike uh, as well as the previous map. I'm not hating on the previous map, just saying, but uh, this map uh, map has better details because this. But it, but it is it is uh, more focused on the high speed line only though. Just that that is the thing with this map. It's not like the whole province of the northern of the Netherlands, like the other one. So it, it is just only the high speed line, but I don't mind that. I'm, I, I really like this uh, map. This route. Can change our speed to 130 in a minute. And that's right now. Then we need to uh, break in a minute a bit again. Yeah, 
yellow signal, which means we have to break again. Perfect, because now we're at 40. Oh, and we can go back to 80. Did you saw what I just saw? Well. I'm handling this uh, train quite well, in my opinion. Uh, I think this is the delayed uh, spinter which we're getting the signals from. But how do you break a Bomba J tracks? Well, that's what I just did. It takes a little bit, but you basically combine the cruise, you basically do the cruise speed first, and then you make sure the train breaks, but also. Um, also make sure when you almost reach that almost hit that speed you incre increase the traction again so um, so the train keeps on driving and you don't will uh, stand you won't stand still all of a sudden I will use this uh, technique also to my time to stop at Schiphol Airport in a second. Or at least I will try, because I don't know, I'm still, I still suck at this train. I think some experts t that know how to control this train can handle it better than me. But I'm doing good so far. Switching tracks here. Yeah, to the most right track, yes. So this is where we join the line that comes from uh, Amsterdam Zuid. Okay, we can go 130, so let's increase to that, shall we? Motorway, I believe it's the A9 or 10, I think the A9. No, this is the A10, I believe, yeah, this is the A10, never mind. The A9 is uh, the one in, in the second. I don't know which motorway this is, at least it's the Ring of Amsterdam. Going underground in just a second. Don't worry, I'm going to handle this. Let's decrease our speed already.
like I said, always have an approach speed of 60 kilometers an hour. And I want to do this right, so I don't care I'm, if I'm a bit delayed. I don't want to make a mistake by just skipping the station. yet we have well I don't care about the signs right now I just want to get this train stopped there we go very neatly welcome to Skippal Airport can we go outside yes we can well, this is Kipple Airport from above. It's not the actual airport, so don't get your imagine uh, don't don't let your imagination go wild. It's just this. In real life, of course, there is an airport, but uh, this is strange sim. So it's only the station itself, obviously. And we already have to leave again. Great. Um. Let's increase. Uh, let's put that in there. And let's go to T max, 80 kilometers an hour. Next station is Rotterdam Central Airport, 52 kilometers. And heads up for the future, we will also do this with the tallies in the in the near future, and also Eurostar probably. So uh, we will be driving with different trains on the same line. It's going to be amazing. Because then we can also go like uh, 300 kilometers an hour. These the other trains. Then we don't have to limit ourselves to 160 because in high speed train terms it's nothing. <laughs> Hoofddorp, station Hoofddorp, almost.
this is the start of the high speed line over here. We're almost there. Just one minute left. Or a couple of seconds even. Here we go. There we go. That was that dot dot. And that was me changing the voltage. And that was it. And now we're going to go to 160. And what you do? Oh, oh, shit. Doesn't like this. Not yet. Wants me to go 100. Let's go 100. Let me see. Well, that is wrong, quickly. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I didn't have the... This is embarrassing. I didn't have the thing in zero. Uh, I, I need to... Oh, I, I, I know what I did wrong. I need to change the... I had to change the protocol to uh, ETCS for this to work. But never mind. I think now we can go to that speed without a problem. And uh, I, I forgot one crucial step as well, and that was actually um, putting uh, the Tmax to zero. Uh, we had to put this one to zero. I just looked in the manual and it said that. Oh! And it doesn't want me to continue again. I don't know why. What the fuck is going on? I think this one needs to stay in zero. But how do how the hell do we go forward? Let me see. Oh, I have to press enter. No, that's not it. Uh, let me see if this works. I think what happened was I changed the kilovolts, but I uh, didn't change the ET. I didn't change the uh, security system, and I also didn't have this on zero, which also should happen when you're doing uh, when you're changing uh, the volt switch. Uh, the, the the volts. And uh, what it did is it activated another security system when I tried to change my uh, voltage level uh, which confused the old train basically and put it to a halt because it was switching it to another security system. But now we're back on A to B and everything should be fine. 
So excuse me for that mistake, but like I said in the beginning of this video, this is me teaching myself how to drive the train properly, and now I know. <sighs> and hopefully this will help you guys as well, as if, if you eventually get this train. Oh shit. Why? This is not the correct, uh, oh fucking hell, this is not the correct uh, security system because I was... Oh my god, can we just drive on? I'm making so much mistakes here! ATB doesn't want me to drive above 140, so that is not going to work as well. I think I used ISO the last time. I don't know, honestly. As long as it doesn't scare the crap out of me. What the manual doesn't state, which is really annoying, is what the ideal system is for when going on a high voltage uh, line like this. So I'm just guessing here which security system is the best. And hopefully I don't get screamed at right now. Because the thing is, I only really know how the uh, ATB system works. And the others I still need to learn. Because uh, like I said, I've just begun playing this game in March. And I've tried, I have done this route once before this video, but I honestly forgot what I did the last time. But I think the train is finally up and running now. Finally, it's actually doing something. But we're delayed, obviously. By my mistakes. <laughs> but uh, we're finally up and running. Finally going full speed. On 25 kilovolts. This is my second time try, uh, actually driving this train on this line. Finally going with some speed. And then uh, now just uh, sit back, relax and enjoy uh, the rest of the journey.
up. Finally out of the tunnel. Nice screenshot for the thumbnail.
this is the this over here is the train line toward uh, going towards uh, the Hague, and uh, this one goes to Gouda. Gouda. As you can see the speeds are also gradually going down, the maximum allowance, but we're just zooming through still because obviously we are far below the maximum speed allowance. Because this is just how fast these trains go. Like over here, it changes to the speed we're currently at. Then uh, we can change back to the old security system, like over here. Let's just uh, get that and let's uh, disable the. Uh go back to ATB but that doesn't maybe matter I 
think I need to be... Wait, why can't I go back to A to B? Why is it not allowing me to change that? Oh, it's stopping the old train again. Oh, that's a shame. I so it doesn't like that. Ah. Oh. Okay, the system is glitching. Fucking hell, it's it glitched. Was it actually? No, but I didn't. I didn't. Pr I didn't press A to B. But I didn't know uh, what. I'm so confused. Let me just see. Let me just work this out. Sorry, never mind. Let's see. Hmm. I uh, the security system automatically changes. I am so dumb. Okay. Well, never mind. doesn't it allow me to mm. why doesn't it allow me to uh ah there it be enabled Can't somehow start a train. This handle is locked. I think that's a sander. Yeah, it is. There's the headlight beam. Doesn't do anything. That's the typhoon. Hmm. Doesn't let me control the uh, traction handle anymore, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let me just see again in the. Oh, uh, I maybe think. Uh, what's going on? There we go. I was looking, and when I looked at the, when I saw that, I felt like, hey. That's probably it. Why are we still moving? Enough pressure. power now but we're still not moving what is the problem that was the problem here we go 
No, we had a... Uh, I didn't do it smoothly again. But never mind, we're moving again. So this was teaching myself, I'll uh, try and improve my driving skills of this train. But for now, this is it. This is what you're getting. I'm not going to do this train too often Just because there's also... Yeah, there are some routes with it, some lines with it, but... I like the other trains more as well But still, still cool train, but very difficult to operate But hey, we've made it to Rotterdam Central. On that uh, bombshell, we've arrived. <laughs> oh god, my 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 skills with this train are atrocious. At least we stopped at the correct sign, just about. That was the scenario. I hope to, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, despite the fact I made some uh, clear mistakes. <laughs> if you liked the video, please give a like. If you have some comments or feedback, maybe obvious with this w this one, please leave a comment. And if you loved the video, then uh, consider subscribing. See you uh, guys later. <laughs>